Hello again. Today, in the Sankofa Pan African series, we'll be looking at the land of Pont, another area of Africa with which Egypt had relations during the period of Egyptian history known as the New Empire. So please, let's take a moment for you to subscribe if you've not yet done so. Thank you. Now, some historians place Pont somewhere around Morocco, Mauritania, or other areas in North Africa. While its exact location has not yet been um, determined, it is generally believed to have been somewhere in the Horn of Africa, along the coast of Somalia. Pont is believed to have been a mountainous area with terraced plantations. It had trees in abundance, including incense-producing balsam and mere trees, as well as ebony. It must have also had a lot of elephants because it produced a lot of um, ivory. It also produced tortoise shells, cattle with um, long and short horns, panthers, which were valuable for their skins, baboons and chimpanzees. Now, according to A. Hamid Zayed, in collaboration with J. Davis, in the area known as Golwin, there is an inlet where Queen Hatshepsut's vessel is believed to have moored on her way to the kingdom of Pont. The inlet is at a point where the ancient river Elphas flowed into the ocean. Hatshepsut uh, ruled as the fifth pharaoh of the um, 18th dynasty in Egypt. She was the second historically recorded female pharaoh after Sobenefer, who I mentioned in an earlier episode on Egypt. Please find the time to watch it if you missed that episode. I hope to return to these remarkable ancient African women in later uh, episodes. This reference to the Egyptian queen's ship heading towards Pont is important as we try and trace the role of African kingdoms and empires in world civilizations. So, evidence of Queen Hatshepsut's uh, ship mooring in the land of Pont is another signal which points to the relationship between Egyptians and their southern neighbors. This and inscriptions found by archaeologists support the idea of travels back and forth between Egypt and Pont. It is believed that Egyptian vessels sailed to Pont in search of precious incense and many other products that I listed earlier. Hamid Zayad proposes that Egypt's relationship with Pont suggests that her interaction with the rest of Africa could not have been a one-way flow in which Egypt, Egyptian culture was spread to civilize other communities. Rather, it suggests that Egypt depended materially on the importation of important um, African products. As such, influence should, have, should be viewed as reciprocal, flowing from um, so, just as Egypt was influencing other parts of Africa, other parts of uh, Africa were also influencing Egypt. Thank you very much for being a part of this series. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet done so. Please feel free to share uh, and like our videos. Thank you.